Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Darkjack, and in this video I get 40 plus kills on the map Standoff in Demolition and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And in this video I'm going to talk about how to deal with lag in Call of Duty. Now what lag is, lag is the delay that takes place between the time you press a button in your controller to the time that it actually happens in the game. And everything in Call of Duty has a built-in delay to it. So each gun has a built-in fire time so that when you press the button on your controller there is a built-in delay from the time that you do that to when the gun fires. And so guns like LMGs have a longer fire time than SMGs for balance reasons and to limit the host advantage. And lag increases that delay even more. Because even if you have a good connection, if you live far away from the person that's the host, there's always going to be a long delay, even with a great internet connection because of the long distance. And unless you're a host, there's going to be a, a pretty long delay in internet terms between the time you, you press the button on your, on your controller until the time you're, the game registers the kill. So I'm going to share with you my tips for doing better when the game is really laggy. Now ideally you have your matchmaking preferences set to best so that way it's, you're less likely to get into a laggy game. But if you're playing round war especially you're going to get into a, a lot of laggy games. So when the game is lagging you want to pre-fire as much as possible. Now even if the game is not lagging you still want to pre-fire by firing the gun before you actually see the person that you're going to kill. So if you know an enemy is around the corner, you want to fire your gun first and then aim down the sights or hip-fire them and kill them. And you want to exaggerate that even more when the game is laggy. That way, you can make up for the extended delay between the time you press the button on your controller and when it happens from the perspective of the host. And if you know someone is coming, always fire the trigger first and then kill them. Because by firing the trigger, you are setting up a stream of bullets that will be in the air before the game, or and before the person that you're shooting at even comes around the corner. And by doing that, there's already a stream of bullets in the air by the time the person comes around the corner. And when the game is lagging, you want to play defensively and catch the enemies on the other team who are rushing off guard. Because there is a longer delay, by playing defensively, you're less likely, likely to be caught off guard you'll be able to kill the enemies that are rushing toward you, rather than them killing you. And you want to use weapons that are not affected by lag. Weapons like claymores, beddies, noob tubes, and C4. Those things are not affected by lag. So even if the game is laggy, when the enemy comes around the corner, they're still going to die instantly from the C4, or the claymore. That's waiting for them. And killstreaks as well are not affected by lag. So getting good killstreaks is going to help you out a bunch. And also when the game is lagging, you want to be patient because if the game is really laggy and you're on a yellow bar or a red bar, you want to stay back and wait for the host to migrate and be patient because eventually it probably will. And sometimes if it's laggy, the game will resolve the problem itself because the laggiest part of a game is at the very beginning when people are still connecting to the host. But once everyone is connected, the game becomes less laggy over time. And to get better at doing well during laggy games, you want to play a lot of ground war. And I play Ground War probably 95% of the time. And as a result, I know how to handle like I know how to be defensive. And I know how to pre-fire and use cover. And if the other team is lagging too, you want to take advantage of that by pre-firing as much, much as possible. Because if you know how to deal with lag and the other team does not, that gives you a big advantage, even if you are laggy. And you want to choose weapons that have a fast rate of fire or a shotgun. That way, those weapons are not affected as much by the lag. And the, the weapons that have the fastest rate of fires kill the fastest because the bullets are traveling faster and so as a result you're going to get more hits per second with a gun with a higher rate of fire even with a laggy delay and for pre-firing you want to focus on visual killstreaks because you have to know where the enemy is in order to pre-fire so using the UAV and the Blackbird is essential or the or orbital VSAT whatever you want to call it so when I play Call of Duty I always run the UAV and the VSAT and I have over 4,000 UAVs called in and over a thousand VSATs. And that allows me to pre-fire and to get the jump on the enemy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys later.